All right, so let's create our first Hello World program in Haskell. So to get started with that, we're going to be on our desktop screen here. We're going to right click and we're going to go to new folder and create a new folder. And we're going to call this folder Haskell. Hit enter. And then what we want to do is open our Visual Studio Code and our WinGHCI. So let's start with Visual Studio Code. You might have the desktop icon. From when you installed it, you can double click that. Or in your Windows search bar, you can do VS Code and hit enter. And it'll open up Visual Studio for us. All right. And now we want to open the folder that we just created on our desktop. So if this isn't here for you, you may need to click on these pages here on the left hand side, these pages icon, and you can click open folder. And we want to be on our desktop, Haskell folder that we made, and we're just going to select it. And it's going to refresh the screen and we're now inside our Haskell folder, right? Okay. Now that we're in our Haskell folder, let's create a new file. To create a new file, we're still on the left-hand side. We're going to hover over this icon that says New File and click that. And then it allows us to name our file. So let's call it hello.hs. And .hs means it's going to be a Haskell file extension. So it's a Haskell file. Hit Enter. And it'll create this for us over here. We can go ahead and exit out of Welcome if you have that up. And we're going to immediately save this file. So file, save, or you can do control S like that and it'll save. And now to create our, to print our hello world to the console, we need to do this main equals do. And this means, Hey, we're going to do something here and main equals do will come back in more detail to what exactly that means. But main equals do hit enter. And if it doesn't space over for you, like mine did, uh, and if it does that, you can hit tab and we're going to just going to use tab for now. Okay. Uh, to get that spacing. If we don't add that spacing, Haskell won't like it. And then we can do put str for string. So anytime we print some words to the console, it's going to be a string. So put string str ln, and that means we're going to add a new line. We'll come back to that bit. So put string ln, and then we're going to type in, in double quotes, it has to be in double quotes. Hello world. If you use single quotes, it won't work. Double quotes works. So that's our entire hello world program and it's going to print it to the console. So go ahead and again, file, save or control S. And we've now saved our hello.hs file and now we need to run it. So let's go down to our search bar again and we're going to type in win and you're going to see win GHCI appear as the option. So let's click that. And this WinGHCI came installed with the Haskell platform, right? So now we can load our file into this uh, platform. So we can do load, mod load module from specified file. Click that. And then we're going to go to our desktop, Haskell, and hello. And that's our file. So open it. And you're going to see it says load hello.hs. That's great. And now we want to run that file. We want to run the main function specifically, right? So to do that, there's this red button here. And if I hover over it, it says evaluate main expression. So it's going to run that main expression we made in Visual Studio. So we click the red button and you should get hello world that appears right here. Um, if we click it again, it'll run it again. Uh, very exciting. Very cool. Uh, that's our first Hello World program in Haskell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.